Good evening. Let's read some more. I've been tired and sleepy today, but I got a hot shower and hot foods. So uh, I have not start to write 10 pages down. I still have some uh, random pages. I don't know, I got four. Four pages with Israel. So I'll just read about the Dead Sea Scrolls, Qumran Camps, so that's the city, Qumran, Judean Desert. Just read it now. Last one was Judean Desert. But there's many more, there's Hunter more, but I just start, there's a lot of stuff I can read in here. So I've got four, four pages. Already I've got four pages. So I not start to, to write down uh, ten pages. Because let me take uh, one year to read. So I will do it uh, later, take it a little bit slow because I'm tired, I need to have a good time to do this. So. so I will read a little bit random, but everything about Israel or Jews or Jerusalem. I think this is an Arab city on the West Bank. It's not a Jewish, it's not an Israeli city. It's an old Arab city, I think, on the West Bank. Comrade. Excavations have taken place in Qumran. 
Nearly 900 scrolls were discovered. Most were written on parchment and some on papyrus. Systems, Jewish ritual baths, and cemetery shade being found, along with a dining or assembly room and three from an upper story alleged by some to have been a scriptural as well as pottery kilns and a tower. Many scholars believe the location was home to a Jewish sect, probably the Essens. But, According to Lawrence Chipman, the rules of the community, its heavy stress on priesthood and Zadokite legacy, and other details indicate a Sadducean-oriented sect either distinct from or one of the various SNA groupings. Seven others propose non-sectarian interpretations. Coordinates 31 degree 4427835 degree 2731 type settlement distra founder between 134 and 104 BC or slight lilata abandoned 68 CE or short lie after period shamanistic to Roman period culture second temple Judaism associated with Hasmonean Thessans. Site note S conditioning ruins management as rail nature and parks authority public access site. Qumran and the surrounding area in a 1942 survey of Palestine Maxim of these started with the notion that it was a Hasmonean fort that was later transformed into a villa for a wealthy family, or a production center perhaps a pottery factory or something similar. Qumran cemeteries. A large cemetery was discovered to the east of the site. Besides this primary cemetery, there are also three separate extensions of it as well as the North Cemetery, about 10 minutes away from the primary, and a cemetery south of Wadi Qumran.8, while most of the graves contained the remains of males, some families were also discovered, though some burials may be from medieval times. Only a small portion of the graves were excavated, as excavating cemeteries is forbidden under Jewish law. Over a thousand bodies are buried at Qumran Cemetery.9. One theory is that bodies were those of generations of sectarians, while another is that they were brought to come round because burial was easier there than in rockier surrounding areas. 10. Caves of Qumran The scrolls were found in a series of 11 caves around the settlement, some accessible only through the settlement. Some scholars have claimed that the caves were the permanent libraries of sect due to the presence of the remains of a shelving system. Other scholars believe that some caves also served as domestic shelters for those living in the area. Many of the texts found in the caves appear to represent widely accepted Jewish beliefs and practices, while other texts appear to speak of divergent, unique, or minority interpretations and practices. Some scholars believe that some of these texts describe the beliefs of the inhabitants of Qumran, who may have been essence, or the asylum for supporters of the traditional priestly family of the Zadokites against the Hasmonean priest forward slash kings. A literary epistle published in the 1990s expresses reasons for creating a community, some of which resemble Sadducean arguments in the Talmud. 11. Most of the scrolls seem to have been hidden in the caves during the turmoil of the First Jewish-Roman War, 66-73 CE, although some of them may have been deposited earlier. Discovery and excavation. Location of Qumran and of the nearby site's early site analysis. The site of Kherbet Qumran had been known to European explorers since the 19th century. 12. The initial attention of the early explorers was focused on the cemetery, beginning with the Saucy in 1851. In fact, the first excavations at Qumran, prior to the development of modern methodology, were of burials in the cemetery, conducted by Henry Poole in 1855 followed by Charles Claremont Gagnon in 1873. 13. Albert Isaacs, British Council James Finn and photographer James Graham visited Qumran in December 1856.14, Isaac stated regarding Qumran Stoa, it can hardly be doubted that this formed a tower or stronghold of some kind. The situation is commanding, and well adapted for defensive operations. 15. 
Bing later suggested Qumran was some ancient fort with a system. 16. The British scholar Ernest William Gurney Masterman visited Qumran on several occasions between 1900 and 1901. After observing the positioning of Qumran atop a plateau overlooking the Ain Feshka Springs, he concluded the ruins may have very well been once a small fortress. 17. Masterman also questioned why a small fort would require a graveyard of over 1,000 tombs. 18. Gustav Dalman visited Qumran in 1914 and explicitly identified Qumran as a Berg or Fort. 19. Archaeologist Michael A. V. Iwana agreed with Dalman's identification of Qumran as a fort and published a map that identified the remains at Qumran as part of a string of fortresses along the southeastern Judean border. 20. Major excavations. Full scale work at the site began after Roland de Vos and Gerald Lancaster Harding in 1949 excavated what became known as Cave 1 the first scroll bearing cave. A cursory surface survey that year produced nothing of interest, 21, but continued interest in the scrolls led to a more substantial analysis of the ruins at Qumran in 1951. This analysis yielded traces of pottery closely related to that found in Cave 1.22. This discovery led to intensive excavations at the site over a period of six seasons, 1951-1956, under the direction of the Vos. The most prized find at Qumran up to this time were three small jugglets containing over 500 silver coins, which were found in a room on the west side of the monastery. 23. They consisted of tetradrachmae that had been minted in Tyre at various times in the 1st century BCE. 23. The Iron Age remains at the site, which were modest but included a LMLK seal, led the Vols to identify Qumran as the city of salt listed in Josh 15 hours 62 minutes. The site, however, may be identified with Sekaka, which is referenced in the same area as the City of Salt in the Book of Joshua 15 hours 61 minutes. Sekaka is mentioned in the chart of various proposed chronologies of Qumran.24, Copper Scroll, and the waterworks of Sekaka that are described in this source are consistent with those of Qumran.25. The excavations revealed that after the Iron Age, Qumran was principally in use from the Hasmonean times until some time after the destruction of the temple by Titus in 70 CE. The Vols divided his use into three periods, period I, the Hasmonean era, which he further divided into a period I, the time of John Hucanus. Period I, the latter Hasmoneans, ending with an earthquake and fire in 31 BC. This was followed via hiatus in the Vols' interpretation of the site. Period 2, the Herodian era, starting in 4 BC on up to the destruction of the site apparently at the hands of the Romans during the Jewish War. Period 3, a reoccupation in the ruins. The Vols' periodization has been challenged by both Jody Magus, 26, and Rajar Hirschfeld. 27. The site that the Vols uncovered divides into two main sections, a main building, a squarish structure of two stories featuring a central courtyard and a defensive tower on its northwestern corner, and a secondary building to the west. The excavation revealed a complex water system that had supplied water to several step systems, some quite large, located in various parts of the site. Two of these systems were within fuels of the main building. Both the buildings and the water system evinced signs of consistent evolution throughout the life of the settlement. With frequent additions, extensions and improvements, the water channel was raised to carry water to newer systems farther away and a dam was placed in the upper section of Wadi Qumran to secure more water, which was brought to the site by an aqueduct. Rooms were added, floors were raised, pottery ovens relocated and locations were repurposed. Dr. Vols found three inkwells at Qumran, Loki 32, 
and 31, and over the following years more inkwell shade come to light with a Qumran origin. Jan Gunung identified a fourth, Nokus 129. S. Stekol found Athif, reportedly near the scriptural. Najen and Pelig found a sixth inkwell. Without counting the Ayufeshka inkwell, 28, or others with debated provenance, that number is more inkwells than found at any other site of the second temple period, a significant indication of writing at Qumran.